How's it everyone? This is Lolkohol and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to craft plus one fizz ones in the easiest way possible. Now Cold Iron Point is going to be very popular next league and I know a lot of people who saw my build guide are worried about what they're going to do if they can't get Cold Iron Point. So the alternative is to get plus one level of all physical spell skill gems and there's a few ways to do that and the reason I'm running a witch on the Twilight Strand will make sense in just a second. There's about four methods to do this, but something that's very important is that you use a very low item level wand. Ideally, item level two, you can use item level three, but that does make it marginally harder, maybe about 3%, 5% harder. So. After you've made your first character, probably got to maps or whatever, and you need an upgrade, first step you're gonna do is level a witch, or whatever character really. Now, something interesting that you can do on a character, you can actually de-level your character. So currently we have a level two character, and in order to get an item level two wand, you'll see if we go to the vendor, all of these are item level three, but you can sell a single scroll of wisdom and an orb of scouring. This gives you a book of regression. If you use that, suddenly you're level one. I know it's weird. However, what this means is now at vendors, you can buy item level two ones. Now this makes it extra easy to roll those plus one physical ones. So what is the first method gonna be? The first method is alt spamming. So it's about a one in 63 chance to get fizz if you use alt and org. So you can just spam it. Well, there's all chaos. This does work for pretty much. Oh, there we go. All right, well, that was lucky. So we got one. And then I guess if we wanted two, we can do it again. If you hit a suffix without a prefix, use an augment because it will essentially be a free alteration. So you just alt spam to do that. Now, another method is gonna be using Jagged Fossils, again, on low item level bases. So we can just do that. Then we can go get some Jagged Fossils. And now if you want a uh, plus cold or plus fire or plus lightning, you're just gonna swap which fossil you're using. So for physical, we're gonna use Jagged because it's more physical mods. Frigid will give us more cold, scorched, more fire, and metallic, more lightning. So what we're going to do is just load up a few of these. It's a one in seven shot of hitting plus one physical spell skill gems. There we go. That was easy. And two. There we go. All right. So it's easy as that. Now there is another method. And this is also something that's kind of popular is using essences that are just lying around. You should get quite a few while leveling. So probably best to use something like Essence of Woe if you're looking for spell damage. Now this is, I believe, a 1 in 27 shot. So it's not as good as Jagged Fossils, but we can see. There's all Cold Spell skill gems. All Chaos. All Fire. So I would say this is an all right method, but not ideal. I mean, if you have more lying around, you don't necessarily have to use Essence of Woe. It is ideal, but just keep doing this until you see that plus one. There we go. Plus one, all physical spell skill gems. And I'll give you one more method before we go, and that is going to be using gems. So there is a gem recipe. If you sell a wand, just normal rarity, and this can be a higher item level. So for this, you need a normal wand and then gems with the physical tag with quality that adds up to 40%. So again, if you wanna do this with cold gems, you need gems with the cold tag that add up to 40% quality. So you just go to the vendor, put that in, you can see Pride has a physical tag. Physical tag. This also has a fire tag, but... And there we go. 
here is a plus one level of all physical spell skill gems. So there's a few different methods to do it. The main thing is getting that low item level one, because the reason we do that is to just drastically limit the number of modifiers that can roll. I'll put it on the screen now. I'll show you the difference between an item level two and an item level 86 wand, and it'll show you the difference between how easy it is to roll. So in summary, we have the method where we sell gems to the vendor, adding up to 40% quality with the appropriate tag. Then we have simply alteration spamming. Also, we have fossils. You can use Jagged if you need Fizz. You can use Aberrant if you need Chaos. Frigid if you need Cold. Scorch if you need Fire. And Metallic if you need Lightning. And then the final method is just using Essences. But there you go. That's going to be it for this video. Just a super quick one. If you can't get your hands on Cold Iron Points and you don't find a plus one physical spell skill gems wand while leveling, here are four methods for you. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. We've also got a Discord that you can join. Links are in the description. And if you really love the channel, I have a Patreon and you can become a patron and there's little benefits. You can join our little secret Discord. That's where all the cool stuff's happening, by the way. So if you want to check that out, links are in description. Have a wonderful day, everyone. See you in Scourge League. Bye-bye. Exile. You're making me nervous.